Hi there, welcome to another vlog. Today is actually Tuesday. Um, we had really weird weather Sunday and Monday. Like Sunday during the day, it was fine. You know, it didn't get very warm or anything, but the temperatures just started plummeting. All of a sudden, we had like a hailstorm, which was really, really weird. And then right after that, ice it just started icing and so they were talking about the roads got covered and bad in like 15 minutes and so there started being wrecks and stuff on Sunday and so Brian's like you need to work from home tomorrow Monday because it was gonna go for a while and then after that was done it was gonna start snowing which it did so we only got a couple of inches of snow but underneath all the snow was a layer of ice it was everywhere. I mean, it was coating everything. And then, so Monday morning, yesterday morning, we're watching the news. And just on the route I go on, the highway that I'm on, there were six accidents. So it's like, I'm glad I worked from home. So I'll be driving into the building today and tomorrow, but I'm probably going to work from home Thursday. And I normally work from home on Friday because Thursday, about 4.30 in the morning, I think they said, it's gonna start snowing. And at least as of now, you know how snow forecasts change like crazy. It was a measure of a really good amount, so we'll see. But hopefully it'll be our last snowfall of the season because spring starts on the 20th. But, so yeah, it's a weird weather week. Last week, can you believe last week we broke a record, got up to 84 one day last week. This week it is just cold. I'm so ready for winter to be done. So, but yeah, now, normal morning stuff. I always look that way because I'm looking at the coffee pot. So, get my coffee made, get my backpack, got my banana, my oranges, get, get all this stuff going, get this day started and done. Hello, so today's, Wednesday Wednesday and I just saw on my phone they've issued a weather winter weather warning so it's supposed to start tonight so <clears throat> I woke up this morning my <clears throat> my throat's a little scratchy but anyway I am going to work down at the building today but then the rest of the week I'm gonna work from home so now I'm just gonna get my coffee and gather all my morning stuff together, get headed out the door, and hope for a good day. There's our snow. You can hear the birds singing, but it's all snowy. So today is Saturday. It is super, super cold outside. It's up to, oh, it's up to 26 right now. It was three earlier, so, but that's the high for today. It's not gonna get any warmer. <sighs> and I've been stuck in the house for two and a half days, which I know, you know, a lot of people are like, homebound for a heck of a lot longer than that so what do I have to complain about um, so anyway Brian went to go to the accountant that he works with to do taxes to drop some completed tax folders off and pick up some new ones and he's been working seven days a week this time of year so when he gets back we're gonna venture out <laughs> I'm just gonna bundle up wear my heavy coat and we're gonna go to Bass Pro Shop so we can look at like their kayak and lake stuff and just do what we keep doing lately is just dream about warm weather and being out on the lake and then we're gonna go eat at Red Robin so um, 
yeah and in the meantime I'm just sitting around playing some games on my phone and watching YouTube and just being a slug <laughs> so that's what's going on for Saturday <laughs> oops Drop me off, come pick me up tomorrow. This is so good. there you find folks so we ate at Red Robin which was delicious and then we went to Bass Pro and they had so much stuff to look at like for kayaks and boats and all that and so all I bought was a, a dry bag. It's like a just this a bag, <laughs> but it's waterproof. You can put your stuff in it, and then you roll the top down, and it has like um, these little straps. But I got it for the kayak to go, like to keep stuff dry. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but um, we just looked at a bunch of stuff. And Brian did buy him a pair of like gloves that are for like paddling or fishing and you know all that kind of stuff to keep your hands warm and because they had them on sale but other than that we just looked around and just had fun looking around and stuff and so now I'm going down to Academy Sports oh actually we did buy another thing the there's this brand called Yak Attack, Yak for kayak, and because our kayaks have these little tracks on them and you can put these accessories and there's an accessory that's a cleat so you can like tie a rope to it or whatever because we've been watching all these videos and stuff on uh, kayaking and everything and there's this one guy that showed how to get in your kayak from the dock and like a tall dock even. That sun is like right coming straight in. Um, the sun has been our friend today. It has melted so much snow. But he showed where you take like a rope that's not real thick, like kind of like paracord, but a little bit thicker, actually about twice the thickness of that. The kind like that people used to make bracelets with. But you just kind of lower your kayak into the water and then you use the dock cleat that's on the dock and you kind of loop the rope and then you get in your kayak and you unrope yourself and but it looks really super easy and it was kind of funny because one of the comments on the guy's video was like I'm 66 years old and never thought I'd be able to get in my kayak from the dock and now I get in and out of my kayak like I'm some kind of a gazelle <laughs> that was just really funny and he was like that's the only way I get in and out of my kayak now but a cleat's nice to have anyway, just so like if you want to tie yourself off to something or whatever. But so I'm going to Academy because um, Brian, they have these things he said called. Now I don't even remember what he said they were called. Something I. I'll know them when I see them. These little circular things that you can hook on, so then you can like clip things 
like um, like our paddles, we have these leashes. They're called paddle leashes. So if you drop your paddle, you're not going to lose it, but it'll make it to where we could like hook that. It's just a way to, or like we have these little bags that we're going to put in the kayak to like consolidate the stuff that we might have like little extra things or whatever, like our phone or the wallet, keys, stuff like that, that are like for the waterproof bag, that kind of thing. And so then we can tether it to the kayak. So for if for some strange reason we were to tip over in our kayaks, we're not going to lose our stuff. I probably could have explained that with so many less words. But anyway, I, I just like looking around in Academy Sports anyway. It's a fun store to look around. And it just, he would be with me except he's going down to his friends because uh, watch some basketball game like the uh, Kansas Jayhawks that's like Brian loves the Jayhawks his dad did and so he just grew up with his dad liking them and so he likes them too so and they're in like I think it's the like the championship games or something so he's going down there and then he asked me if I'd come to Academy to get those pad eyes I think he called them and so I'm doing that and then I'm gonna look around and then I'm gonna go home and play Animal Crossing I haven't played Animal Crossing in a couple of days I still play it several times a week just not every single day like I used to um, so yeah those are my plans it's just been it's been nice to get out of the house and just look at the lakey things, the things to look forward to, that really helps cheer us up. So, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> well, now it is 6.54, so almost seven o'clock, so, This is what pad eye. They're like these little things that we can hook. But yak gear. That's what he wanted. So we've got those. And I walked around in that store for like an hour and a half. Just looking at stuff. Drinking a bye. This one's like a clementine flavor. So, <laughs> well, tonight we spring forward on the clocks. At least in most of the states in the United States. Is Arizona the, well, I don't know. There might be other, I know for sure Arizona doesn't do daylight savings time. I wish we didn't. I wish it would just go with the time where it stays light the longest and then just stop doing the back and forth. I'm lucky though because Brian, sometimes the time change messes with him. I don't think it's ever messed with me. At least I don't remember it ever messing with me. It's only an hour. I like that it stays light longer. Oh, I, got, I forgot there's like a median here. Here's Hobby Lobby. I can't even remember the last time I went in Hobby Lobby. I'm sure I took you guys with me. I know it's been months. They really just never had... You remember how they used to always have the 40% off coupon? 
Well, they stopped doing that and they said it was because they were going to have like more sales or whatever. And I would always like to look for sales on yarn. And one, they raised the price of their yarn a while back. And then it doesn't go on sale. At least not very often. And because I like the chunkier yarns. And I just, they stopped ever really having that great of deals on it. So I've been more apt to get my yarn from Michaels. <sighs> so I'm going to go home. I'm going to get into my pajamas, play some Animal Crossing. It's a motorcycle. It's getting ready to change. Man, I think it's pretty cold to be riding a motorcycle. It's in the 20s. He's got his jacket and everything, but and his helmet with the face shield, but I don't know. I think it's pretty cold to be on a motorcycle. But, you know, maybe he's feeling like Brian and I were feeling where we just needed to get outside for a little bit. on the road that I got pulled over on the other day. Well, actually quite a while ago. It was before Halloween. <laughs> it was like, I think it was even, might have even been September because I was heading to Target to look at the Halloween stuff that they had just started putting out. And I was like, so excited. I wasn't really watching my speed. Got my butt pulled over. But luckily, he did not give me a ticket. I was so thankful and happy that he didn't. But I have not sped on this road since. You know, maybe, ex you know how, like, you c it's hard to keep the exact speed. So maybe I'm going, like, one or two miles over or one mile lower or whatever. But I don't speed on this road anymore. I learned my lesson. So, because I feel like <laughs> I probably won't luck out again. Plus, they probably keep a record of it. But, but today's supposed to be the last. It's like uphill from now, from like getting warmer. And then, what is it? Is it a week from today? I don't remember. It's the 20th is the first day of spring course you know how it is that never like feels like I don't feel like the calendar matches the weather or the you know what I mean I think oh fuck you sorry guys I don't know what the hell they're honking at I don't have a turn signal there's people with the green light coming to me so you know People are just assholes. <laughs> Sorry for the F-bomb. <laughs> I do drop them occasionally. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry, Mom. That just made me mad. What a jerk. It's like, what did he expect me to do? Now there's sirens. You gonna get mad at the fire truck? Brian's the one who's dropping the F-bombs in the family. I don't drop them very often, but I feel like that was an appropriate time. So, yeah. I still don't understand what they thought I was supposed to do. I'm not going to run a light, especially when I'm sitting there talking about how I don't want to speed on that road anymore, or I don't speed on it. I'm not going to break another law. Oh, well. I guess that's enough rambling for now. <laughs> okay, I'm home. Changed into jammies. 
And so I'm going to grab my Animal Crossing or my Nintendo Switch, sit and play my game for a while. Maybe I'll watch a scary movie. I don't know. I'll, I'll decide. But take off this headband. This is really comfortable. Um, it's just like kind of stretchy. And uh, got it at Shields. <laughs> it was like over in their clearance section. I've not, I haven't seen anything besides that except for what we saw at Shields that day. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the vlog up because then I can get it uploaded. And then my mom can see it first thing tomorrow. Or not first thing. Whenever she watches it. But um, not really have any other plans. Tomorrow's laundry. So... I mean, if something interesting comes up, I'll start the vlog on Sunday, but we'll see. So anyway, that's it for this week, and that's it. <laughs> Bye.